Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Griff of Android and this week Google surprised us all by releasing the Android 11 developer preview for its Pixel devices. Now getting a beta version installed on these phones is typically pretty easy, but the developer preview is a little bit more cumbersome when it comes to the installation process. But in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the entire process and you actually won't even need to unlock the bootloader of the phone in order to do it. But before we get started, I wanna remind you to make a full backup of all the data on your device just to make sure you have a complete copy of it in case something goes wrong. But the installation process itself is not expected to wipe any of the data on your device. And all of the links that you're gonna need for this video to follow along are gonna be in the description below. So make sure you check that out so that we can walk through this together step by step. The first thing we'll need to do is download the SDK platform tools if you don't have this on your computer already. You'll wanna scroll down the page and then select the file for your appropriate operating system. Agree to the terms of services and then press the download button. When the file is done downloading, open it and copy the folder inside. Since I have the Android Studio installed on my device, I'm gonna paste it or extract it to that folder. You can put it anywhere you want, just make sure that you remember where it is for future reference. Once the platform tools folder is extracted, double click on it to open it up. Here you're gonna see all of the files that the system will need to execute ADB commands to your Android device. Next, we'll need to download the Android 11 developer preview device OTA files for your Pixel device. Now these files are device specific, so make sure you download the correct one for your Pixel smartphone. I'm gonna be using the Pixel 3a for this process, so that's the file I'll be downloading. And again, you'll need to agree to the terms and services and then click the download button at the bottom. At this point, you are gonna be waiting for a little bit since all of these files are over a gig. So make sure you have a solid internet connection and maybe a coffee to help you pass the time. Once the download's finished, open the folder that you downloaded the zip file to. Copy the zip file and then move it over to the platform tools folder that we left open. And from here, we need to move over to the phone to continue the process. Now, in order to be able to flash the developer preview onto the phone, there are two things that need to happen first. We need to go into the settings and turn on developer mode. And then after that, we need to go into developer mode and turn on USB debugging. So in order to do that, we can swipe down the notification shade and jump into settings, scroll down to the very bottom and click on about phone. And then on this screen here, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see build number at the very bottom of that screen. You need to tap this seven times and then put in your passcode and then from there, it says you are now a developer. Hit the back button one time, and then you can go up to System, Advanced, and then you'll see Developer Options right there. Click on that, and then scroll about halfway down to this second section, and you'll see USB debugging. We want to tap that, and then click OK, and then USB debugging is allowed. With that taken care of, the next step of the process is rebooting the phone into recovery mode. And to do that, we simply hold the power button here and then press restart. And while it's doing that, we press and hold the volume down rocker until we get into the fast boot menu. And that should pop up in about four to five seconds. Up top here, you will see a menu item selection and then the volume rockers are what allow you to select different items within the menu. So we wanna scroll down pressing the volume down rocker until we get to recovery mode and then press the power button to select that. Now this is gonna boot into the first screen for the recovery mode, but we actually need to press and hold the volume rocker up and the power button at the same time for exactly five seconds. And once we do that, we can let go of the volume up rocker and then it will boot into the recovery mode and typically it might take two to three tries in order to get it. And there we go. And then from here, we simply select, scroll down again using the volume rocker on the right hand side. 
and then we want to select apply update from ADB and then press the power button to select that. And at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see the instructions here to do that. And all we have to do now is plug in the phone via USB and then go back to the computer to finish the process. Before we start the flashing process, click on the zip file that we copied over to the platform tools folder. Highlight the name and the zip extension at the end, right click on it and then select copy to copy the name of the file over to your clipboard. Now click on the folder's navigation bar up top and then type CMD and then press enter. This will open up a command prompt window that's already pointing to the specific folder location. To make sure that your phone is plugged in properly, type in ADB devices and then press enter. You should see the serial number of your device show up. And if it doesn't, unplug the phone from your computer and try this again. Next, type ADB sideload and then press control V on your keyboard to paste the zip file name for the Android 11 developer preview for your device. And then press enter to start the installation. The process should take roughly 10 minutes, but you won't be seeing much on the phone screen, but you can keep up with the installation with the percentage counter on the command prompt window on your computer. Once it's done, your phone will switch back to the recovery mode screen. Just press the power button to reboot the device and your Pixel will finish the installation process as it boots up. And with that, your Pixel smartphone is now running the Android 11 developer preview. If you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get the Android 11 developer preview installed on your Pixel smartphone, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.